Hello everyone, so today we're showing a demonstration of Ledger and Omni Network integration. So first things first, uh, you should configure your MetaMask. You go to a MetaMask extension and make sure that you are on the correct network, which is Rinkeby Test Network. Second, you should go to your account and make sure that you are connected with your hardware wallet. Uh, I have already done this, but if you're doing this the first time, you should click on Connect Hardware Wallet. After you did this, you should connect your ledger into the cable and enter your PIN code. After you've connected with your ledger, you should go to Ethereum application and make sure that your uh, data contract is allowed in your settings. After you've done this, you can successfully continue. You click on Ledger as the main hardware wallet to connect with and click Connect. Then you can pick up one of the available addresses that you will use for the demonstration purposes and click unlock. This particular address already has some ETH, but if you don't have it, you can use one of the available Rinkeby faucets. Also, this video will show how to top up your wallet and use RC20 uh, token as a deposit. For this, we will use USDT as a faucet. I've already done this, so I will just show you how to add your token into the MetaMask. You should copy your contract address and click on Add Token in the Custom Token tab. And you will be able to see that you have some tokens. At the beginning, this will be empty, but uh, after you use one of the available faucets, you will be able to uh, access your funds. After your MetaMask is configured, you should go to the web wallet and proceed with browser wallet. This will prompt this uh, window and you should make sure that you are connected to your ledger device and you opened your Ethereum application, just as I showed you in the beginning. Also make sure that you have your uh, settings correct uh, configured right with with contract data allowed and click uh, yes after that you will be directed redirected to the web wallet page and here we will show you how to deposit and transfer your funds in order to deposit your funds you should click on deposit button and choose one of the available assets as you can see here you can choose between ETH and RC20. For this demo, we will use RC20 and uh, we'll deposit TUSDT. So we copy the contract address, paste it here, and we'll deposit, uh, for example, 100 TUSDT. Then you click Next. And for each RC20 token, you should approve your token uh, deposit first. So, so we will do that. Click on approve and confirm the uh, transaction. This will prompt the review transaction on your ledger device. You should be able to see the contract information, the amount, fees, and just click on accept. After that, you will be able to see that your approval deposit was confirmed so that you can deposit your transaction. Click on deposit, confirm it with your MetaMask extension, and review the transaction and confirm it on your ledger. After deposit is done, it will be available in your deposit tab, deposits tab. This will take some time. 
After your deposit is confirmed, you will be able to see and use your funds in, on the OMG network. So now let's make a transaction uh, to another wallet. Let's click on transfer and paste the address the, that we'll use as a receiver. Uh, in this particular case, we'll send uh, 10 TUSDT and make sure to have some ease. It will be used as a fee amount for RinkyB testnet. Then click on transfer with ledger and make sure you have uh, your ledger connected and unlocked uh, before you proceed. Also make sure you run the latest version of the Ethereum application that will be stated in this information. Click sign and sign the message right here on your ledger. So as you can see your transaction is pending. After it's confirmed you'll be able to access those funds on another wallet. So this was a quick demo of how ledger integration is done and I hope you like it.